Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are reacting to a channel called XP Goat. Now, they have done a series called Alice in Dreams. Alice in Dreams is an Alice in Wonderland based analog horror. Now, I'm going to be honest, I know nothing about Alice in Wonderland, which is quite a shock because I feel like it's one of those things that a lot of people have seen or should have seen, but I just never got around to watching it. Never, I don't even really know the story. So I did a little bit of research beforehand just because I'm not going into this completely blind like I usually do and then people complain at me like why are you even reacting to this if you don't know what it is the reason i react to stuff like this is because i enjoy the horror side of things once i kind of watch that i go back and watch the original and i'm like oh okay that makes sense but this time around i decided you know what let's actually do a little bit of research i've got a few notes off to the side here that will help guide me if i get confused with certain characters maybe but yeah we're just going to jump into this so guys be sure to go subscribe to xp goat the link will be in the description down below they have 11k subscribers as of this video i'm going to subscribe right now so go show your support go watch the videos go like them subscribe all that good stuff you guys have been amazing with the support lately yeah thank you very much if you do enjoy this style of video be sure to subscribe as this is the majority of my content analog horror spooky stuff without further ado we're gonna jump into this there's only two videos but that should be enough alice in dreams analog horror Okay, here's the first video, Alice in Dreams. Uh, this was originally in Spanish, but I had it translated, and it translates to the patient was approved for a lobotomy. And by the way, guys, I noticed someone commenting on the mic. It's It fell off. It actually fell off. It used to be a little flap like this. I don't know how it even came to be like that. I have cats. Maybe they did it. As you can see here, it's, on the fl it's full of hair. I could pop it there if I wanted to, but that's kind of... It's just going to fall off. So rest in peace. You know, probably in about a month's time, this whole thing, like this has been sellotaped. I don't know if you can see this. This is like double-sided sellotape holding it together because this bottom bit just fell out for no apparent reason, which is strange. Anyway, let's just jump into this. This is what you came to see. You didn't come to see me ranting about my microphone. Alice in Dreams, Analog Horror. Let's go, baby. So the whole premise of Alice, uh, Alice in Wonderland is that she, uh, Sueños, Sueños? She was chasing a white rabbit and fell down a rabbit hole, which led her to Wonderland. And there she is, Gothic Alice. Oh, good Lord. Right. Okay, now she's became the rabbit. Is this like a what matrix was referring to with like the white rabbit or whatever it was called follow the white rabbit so she's chasing this rabbit she's wearing like what looks like one of those like masquerade masks it reminds me of majora's mask when you get the mask stolen from you or you get your, what do you get stolen from you? Ocarina, you get that stolen from you. And then you have to uh, chase after the, what's, his, what's he called? Skull Kid. There we go, Skull Kid. Oh, but he's not actually Skull Kid. He's like, like a scarecrow of some kind. And then you fall into this kind of alternate world, alternate universe, where you have like three days until the world ends. Fantastic game. I love it, as you can tell. Okay, so she's being sucked into this vortex, maybe? Is, it, is this what this is in reference to? Oh, she's sleeping. Spoiler alert, guys. For those who don't know about Alice in Wonderland, the whole thing was a dream in the end, apparently. Kind of like the Wizard of Oz, in a way. Well, that's what it says here, anyway. I might be completely wrong. Lobotomy. So, maybe in this... In this uh, timeline of events, it's not a dream. It's she's in some kind of ward. And having this done, a lobotomy like chisels out part of your frontal lobe, which is part of your reasoning. Apparently, it's meant to make you more docile. 
and they, they, it's, it's not done anymore obviously because that's messed up but I wasn't talking about you what is happening okay these are the different characters right I'm guessing that's the Mad Hatter there so that means that this is match hair is this match hair or is this the, just the white rabbit there's like different uh, animals, like the Cheshire Cat, Bold Twins. Is this what's going on in her head right now? Oh dear, they didn't like that. Oh, I don't like this. This would make me very uncomfortable. I'll slowly back up. Oh. Okay, yeah, this... I am not falling into a void. Why do I have to swallow these pills? Okay, so she's definitely in some kind of mental asylum right now. Ooh. This is the Cheshire Cat. What is happening? Okay, there's a caterpillar. This is like literally a fever dream. This is like you go to bed. Okay, so the caterpillar, who that apparently was, is apparently a philosophical hookah smoking insect who advises Alice to control her temper by apparently cutting off her face. So that's good. That's good to know. Who made this story? They definitely like dropped some acid. Okay, and she woke up and she's in a mental asylum. Brilliant stuff. Okay, so a lot was going on there. A lot of kind of, like I said, it feels like when you go to bed and you've got a fever or you've got a flu and then you just have those weird ass dreams where nothing really makes sense. I mean, dreams don't really make sense anyway. My dreams are just like, I feel, I don't know if you guys ever get this, but sometimes when you wake up from a dream, it feels like you woke up from a second life almost. And you're like, whoa, okay, none of that was real. And it kind of, it's almost depressing in a way. Oh my God, what's this, guys? Hang on, let's check this out. An investigation group of police and professional cavers were sent to Mount Ebot to find at least any clues of missing people. Oh, Instead that's amazing, findings... man. You should really go check that video out. That's incredible. Alice in Dreams, The Looking Glass. So this is the second video. I think there's no more videos. There's like another series that XP Goat's doing that's not related to this one. I don't believe so. Here we go. So here's what the description says. Lock in. Few are the warriors who are left standing in a battle. You cling to something intangible. Will you be able to create the wall? Only then will you be invincible. Destroy the demon and you will find freedom. Beware of that which you will face. The only problem with having this thing now is that it, you can hear my freaking wind blowing into the mic. And I mean my wind from my mouth, guys, all right? Behave yourselves. Here we go. So Alison dreamed the looking glass. Let's jump into this. I'm looking at you through the glass. Don't know where my stomach's at. Oh. I can't believe this was an actual practice. Ugh, anything to do with the eyes and little eyes and fingernails just gr gross me out. <laughs> Name: Alice Liddell. Is that how you say that? I'm so bad with like pronunciations. Age: 18 years old. Condition: condition schizophrenia. The patient also experiences bouts of violence and disassociation from reality. This would make sense with that whole caterpillar telling her to calm down and stop being so angry. Maybe the characters in her mind that she plays are like metaphors for 
the people trying to help her out or maybe problems that she is actually facing like and their actual manifestations of feelings and emotions if i was back in english lit right now my my, my english teacher would be like yes say that more why were the curtains blue ryan why it's not because she's depressed and feeling sad Maybe she was, I don't know. The patient also experiences bouts of violence and disassociation from reality. Lobotomy accepted. The lobotomy seems to have had positive results for Miss Liddell. Alice Liddell is fit to live with society. Her mental state improved after post-lobotomy treatment. A white rabbit came for her. What does that even mean? That's in an official document. Whoever wrote this needs a lobotomy. You, you're starting to sound crazy. Okay. God feels like a ripper. I hear that song in so long. Alice in Dreams, The Looking Glass. So, my question is, is she having these dreams after the lobotomy, or is it those dreams before the lobotomy? Look at the kid of mine, yeah! Look at it go! Oh yeah, get it. It's a cute little kitty. Meow. Oh no Oh yeah, look at it. Meow. It feels like one of those like cartoons where it, like it it mixes live action with like green screen VFX animations okay so she went back to sleep so is she was she always asleep yeah Drink me. Uh, wow, okay, she just straight up does it. Nice. Oh, okay, so this is the whole... Um, she shrinks and grows through the, the film, or through the story, depending on what she eats and drinks, apparently. So now she's just shrunk. But she... What the heck was even that? Okay, that's a that's a pawn with teeth. <laughs> that this is slowly eating you. Wait, what? This is one of those things where it's like very psychological and it has like loads of different meanings. And it's meant to make you feel super uncomfortable. Oh, it's the twins. It reminds me of that old game. What was that game called? With the, the, the mask, Sa Sally something? It was like a 2D game. The, the soundtrack is insane. Oh, that's not good. Been split. Jesus. Did the painter make an appearance here? What's going on? The brain's been split into two. Mutilation is not a cure, it is hell. Oh, they're talking about the lobotomy. The left hemisphere and the right hemisphere. But that's just a SpongeBob frame, randomly. Like, you'll go through a, a whole SpongeBob episode, and there'll just be one frame like that for no reason. It's Humpty Dumpty. Boko <laughs> 
Okay, so this is what's in the description down below. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna completely destroy the Spanish. Is this Spanish? Aquiloki. Oh, he's dead. He didn't even fall off the wall. Right. I'm trying to see. The thing is, usually when I edit things back, things make more sense. But when I watch it through the first time, loads of things go over my head and it's super annoying. Okay, this is uh, the Queen of Hearts. Is she going to cut her head off? Right. I mean... Okay. Oh god, she's been turned into a... Uh, what is... What is happening? She is definitely insane. That's how she sees herself. What is that? Oh, that's the lobotomy thing. Vorpal memory. Oh, she's turned into a freaking... Alice went down into the darkest place of the mind. The basement of the subconscious. Oh god. Dread to think what's in there. Dark, dark stuff. That's where all your freaking... Most likely all your impulsive thoughts come from. Not impulsive. Intrusive. Who is that then? Is that meant to be Alice as well? She's not blonde. Then again, neither was that girl, right? This is like a fantasy version of herself. Who am I? Bro, I don't know. I just got here. Oh, she escaped. That was not a very nice... What happened? Did she, like, kill the doctor? Is that what's gonna happen here? Oh, she cut the head off this dragon-looking creature. She's definitely cut someone's head off. Somehow. Guys, help me. Fran Bao, there we go. Was it Fran Bao? Fran Brow? Or whatever it is. That's the one I was talking about. The game. This is what I said. A white rabbit came for her. That's a completely normal thing for a medical file to say. Right, so I'm guessing... I mean, in the original Alice in Wonderland, it was all a dream in the end. And, you know, it was just a childlike dream or whatever. And everything was fine and dandy. But in this, the Alice was a schizophrenic patient and obviously during the times where schizophrenia was seen as okay this needs to be fixed like this there's we need to fix this or you were seen as less than human maybe if you were schizophrenic you were seen as like subhuman because they didn't understand what they were dealing with and therefore they were what that they decided just to completely mutilate the brain in order for them to just be normal so if you didn't adhere to an expectation of society back then you were forced to physically there was no understanding that it was just like you're gonna be like us or you're going to die simple as that and it's kind of sad how there's a lot of people that existed like that who couldn't help the way they were but were forced 
to be docile because of a lack of understanding which is crazy so uh, yeah alice was schizophrenic and those i don't know if those dreams were a result of the lobotomy or a result of her schizophrenia either way it's very sad that that kind of thing happened luckily we were we're born now in a generation and a year where medical scientists psychologists therapists or whatever they can help understand this better and do things that don't involve mutilating the brain to get you to comply with rules of society we know that people are different now and that people require different ways of learning things or handling things but yeah that was awesome i enjoyed that i mean it was one of those, like I said, it was one of those analog horrors where it made me feel like I, I'm i tripping on acid or I've, I've just woke up from, or I'm in a fever dream, basically. But I really enjoyed that. That was really cool. So guys, go subscribe to XP Goats. Go like the videos, all that good stuff. Um, if you enjoyed my reaction video, why not leave a like rating down below, subscribe. Once again, thank you so much for the support as of lately, guys. It's been mind-blowing. I, I genuinely, like, I'm shocked at how well the channel has been doing. Obviously, I know it's not going to stay high like it is now. It's going to go back down, and that's completely okay. But for now, I'm grateful for the support you guys have been showing me. So thank you once again. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.